voice a song Drew asked the questions Where would they belong? With passion in his eyes He dives deep inside The truth comes alive There's no need to hide Tune and feel the vibe It's where we belong Welcome to the Drew Carey Show Let it unfold Where hearts are laid bare And stories are told From laughter to pain The journey is real On this vibrant stage We're ready to be Hello everybody and welcome once again to the Drew Kelly Show. That's right, we're here once again and we have two very, very, very special guests that are with us on tonight. These two brothers are from an organization out west with the cowboy boots and the hats and everything big out that way. They're here, they're from the East Texas Gospel profession, Music Professionals uh, uh, Organization. And they've been doing some excellent, excellent, excellent work with musicians, not just in Texas, but uh, around the country. But a lot of the folks that they work with is in Texas, but they're expanding. And so I want you to pay attention for those of you that have been looking for a tribe to get involved with. You've been looking to connect with people that are really looking to help you as you help them to expand what God is doing in your life. I know Dr. Uh, 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 Dr. Gates, y'all know Dr. Gates. He's been here with your boy, Pastor Drew, uh, last year. He's back this year. He's a board member of the Praise Factor. He's on the board. Milton, are you on the board of Praise Factor? Yeah. Both mm -hmm. of these brothers are on the board at the Praise Factor War. Eight out listed, kept getting calls all through the weekend, talked to Robin through the Praise Factor War all weekend. So I was up to date on everything that was going on. I heard that it turned out swell. I heard that it turned out extremely well, and so God bless you. But next year, if it be in the Lord's will, your boy Pastor Drew and Robin Birch will be in the house next year. Listen, we're going to get going because uh, Brother Birch, I mean, it's up for Brother Birch. <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother Wallace is actually sitting at the airport. If you heard that noise in the background when we first came on, that was actually them doing an overhead announcement in the airport. He's going to be taking off in just a moment. So we're going to get right to him. But before we get into the interview, I want to bring my co-host all the way from the Big Apple. She is none other than singer, songwriter, gospel, recording artist, two-time Praise Factor Award winner, Robin Birch. Hello, Robin. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, good. Robin come in so smooth. Robin just getting off from work and running in like, <laughs> like she's been home chilling all day. That's a professional. That's why I work with you. Thank you. I've been running. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're going to get right into the interview, Robin. I'm going to turn it over to you. And let's start with Milton because he might have to run out of us. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go with Milton first. Uh, and both you, of them. You, you got to go with Milton first. All right. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to our show. I tell you what, before you do that, Robin, before you do that, what I want to do is I want I want Milton, if you'll just uh, introduce yourself to the audience, and when you're done, Dr. Uh, Gates, you do the same. Okay, then. Can you hear me, first of all? Yes, we can hear you fine. Okay, Great wonderful. Sound. All right. My name is Milton Wallace. I am a retired high school principal. I did that for 30 years. And then I thought I was going to retire and see the world. So I became a travel agent and oh, wow. did that. And then I got talked into doing television. <laughs> so I'm now the uh, co-owner of a television, internet television station called All Nations TV, where we broadcast um, gospel videos and TV shows and all those things on the network. And then from that, I got involved with uh, the Praise Factor Awards and the Texas Gospel Music Awards. Well, pretty much all the awards, but those are the main two that I'm, I work with very closely. Uh, but my, my thing was is that I wanted to help gospel artists. I found out that from talking to them that there was a lot of disconnect and there were a lot of things that they didn't know about the business that they needed to learn. So I got really concerned about what we could do or how we could help. And from there, uh, I had the idea about starting an organization that would help us to communicate that information to our people. Uh, and then I heard about there was an organization getting started called the Gospel Industry Network. And I thought, well, that would be that was what their goal and plans were as well. So I figured, well, why not just join with them? At that time, I talked to Dr. Gates and Kyle Collins, and we talked about 
where we wanted to go or how we wanted to try to help artists to take their ministry to another level. And thus began the East Texas Gospel Music Professionals. So that's what we do now. Not only do we work in East Texas, but we focus in East Texas and in Louisiana. But we also have artists from all around Texas and all over Louisiana and Florida and New York and California and anywhere anybody needs any help. They are part. We even have Connecticut. So we have and New York. So we have people from all over the country that are part of our organization that we work to try to help them to take their ministry to the next level. Awesome, awesome. Dr. Gates, welcome. Thank you, sir. Hello to Robin and to you, Pastor Drew. This is a great privilege, and I thank God for it. It's amazing how Milton's life is intertwined with mine. I did 41 years as a classroom teacher, retired, <laughs> and then went to the you university you, level. You, you, say you, you say you're 41? <laughs> I wish. I wish. I did 41 years as a classroom teacher, retired, and then I uh, went to Mississippi Valley State University as a university director, and I'm now in year four of that position. I work with gospel music. I've done it for more than 50 years. I was adding up those numbers after Drew and I talked yesterday, and my background started with the Gospel Music Workshop of America. From there, I branched out, did some recording, did some writing, did some presentations around the country. And today's show is really based on the work that Milton has done in my life. As he said, he brought me on board with the East Texas Gospel Music Professionals. And then as an executive member of the Face Factory Group, he said yes to my nomination as a board member for the Praise Fest Gospel Network organization, which oversees the Praise Fest organization, the Praise Fact organization. So a lot of what I'm doing is based on yeah. okay. yeah. okay. yeah. okay. yeah. and excited about this platform that we have to talk about artists today. Okay. Yeah, Milton had over here. They, they were calling him. <laughs> Milton, if you have to run, let us know now. Let us know. All right, what we're going to do, just ask, and either one of them can grab the question. Go ahead, okay. Robin. Okay, so both of you all were at Praise Factor. I really didn't get, this is kind of like my first time meeting both of you. I think this is the first time I've talked to Milton. I, talked, I had the privilege of talking to you briefly. I think it was last year, um, connected with you through someone from uh, that attended Praise Factor season 16. Um, and uh, I don't think, uh, Daryl, that I had the honor of meeting you uh, yet. So this is kind of like uh, new, uh, me meeting you guys. Um, but have you all recovered from Brace Factor? <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I have not. I am t right now, I'm leaving from the Gospel Industry Network meeting that we had that's led into the Dove Awards that's going on right now, the process of doing that. And so I'm at the airport leaving from there so that I can go next week to the, <laughs> to the International Summit that's going to be in Dallas. So have I recovered now? No. But just keep moving. <laughs> you just keep moving. Daryl, have you recovered? I have not recovered. And to Milton's surprise, the International Music Summit is this week. It begins Thursday. So he'll get <laughs> on Tuesday and he'll uh, get to Dallas on Thursday. Wow. That is uh, so true. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He was trying to give himself a week to recover, but that won't happen. That won't happen. So we're right. going to be in, in Dallas this week and uh, see a lot of our members. And we're excited about that. A lot of members from the East Texas organization and who were with us at Praise Factor will also be there in Dallas. And we're excited about that. Uh, kudos to Dr. Carol Crawford and that group for the International Music Summit. Wow. Well, how do you all um, balance all of this with all these awards and all this? And then you're, when is the downtime that you get a chance to rest and recoup? How do you how do you balance this? Yeah, there, there is no such thing as downtime. It's <laughs> you up all the time. And, and, you know, I function better that way. Downtime, all I'm going to do is sleep, so that, that's not any good. So, um, But, you know, the thing about it is I try to get a few minutes here, a few minutes there, 
when I can uh, to try to, you know, put things together. Because also I'm working with the Texas Awards, trying to get them ready to go now as well. So. Wow. Oh, my goodness. The love that you all, that you guys have, the passion that you have. It has to be love. It has to be passion to be dedicated um, to doing this, to that this, you know, this drives you. Um, so I commend you for that. I, I really commend you for that. What was the highlight of Praise Factor? What is always the highlight? My highlight yeah. this year was seeing Nan Year get an award. As I stated on Facebook, she came last year for the first time, was nominated, left empty-handed. This year she left Praise Factor with an award. And to see the Butler Arch Child come this year was first time and to leave with that award. It's been a banner year for him. He won in February at the Texas Gospel Music of Excellence Awards. And he won again at Praise Factor the other week. So it's been a great year for him. And to see those people win and expression on their faces, uh, the Butler brought his whole family, his mama, his daddy, his wife, his two boys. And uh, it, was, it was an excellent opportunity to see Dr. T's vision unfold in the lives of those two people especially. Those were my highlights. And for me, for me, of course, the, the most uh, highlight, the best highlight for me was that there were three awards given away in my mom's name. Oh. And so that was, that was the highlight for me, uh, most of all. For me to be able to stand up there and talk about her and not break down, that was a biggie. And so, but I was able to do that. And uh, to find out about what the um, people did that were a part of, you know, that were selected, that really, really meant a lot as well. And um, then to see some of the winners, a lot of the winners were people from our East Texas Gospel Music Professionals. Yes. And that was a, a big thing for me. We had the, the Royal Born Singers who they, they came, they trusted, they they thought, well, what's the use of me come, us coming? And I told them they need to come on anyway because they just didn't know what might happen. And right. then they were able, they won, and they would they haven't stopped talking about it to see some of the others win, even you to win, Robin. That was a biggie for me as well because even though, you know, I've been following your career since you were there at the Praise Factor the first time. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I've just been waiting for you to become a member of the East Texas Gospel Music Professionals as well. So, you know, yeah, so we're just waiting. So anyway, but no, it was a it was a great event. Everything went off well. As I told them last night in our meeting, only thing the worst part about it, my feet are still tired, sure enough. But other than that, it was it was a great event. It was. It was amazing. It was amazing. I'm just so happy that I was able to take part in it this year. I'm just, uh, Praise Factor for me has been, like I tell people, I met my prayer. You know, we pray for a lot of things, but do we really re do we really recognize the prayer when we see it face to face? When I stood on that stage in um, season 15, I knew that I had met one of my prayers face to face, and that was uh, Praise Factor. So I'm just uh, honored to to be able to connect and and uh, have an outlet such as this and have uh, people with passion that, that go hard for the indie artists, that give them that opportunity. So I just want to commend you all and let you know that every, I, I feel like every indie artist need to experience the praise factor. I feel like you guys are the yes. wind beneath the indie artist's wings. And um, not only that, you have the workshops that prepare the indie artists. You know, it's not just to be the, there to get on the platform, but what would you, what advice would you give an indie artist that's coming um, up about the praise factor, about getting involved in praise factor? Well, my comment would be First of all, you've got to be get involved. You've got to you, once you get connected, then you need to be active in the things that are going on. You need to be, you know, when the voting starts, you need to get out, you know, get people, let them know that you are nominated. You need to promote yourself, let people know who you are. That's the advantage of being nominated because it gives you an opportunity to promote yourself to people who might have never heard your music or never seen you. So you want to take advantage of that to share that information with them about who you are and where you are and those kind of things. But also the other thing about it is take advantage of those sessions where you have the opportunity to learn because the, the foundation of all this, you can, anybody, well, not anybody, but you know, people sing, but if you don't have a good foundation, first of all, if you're not grounded in the Lord, number one, number two, then if you don't know the music business, like you need to know it, 
then you're going to miss so many opportunities and you don't want to do that. Exactly. Daryl, you want to add to that? Following what Milton said uh, and summarizing it in a different way, I say to the artists, this is your first opportunity to bring your A game. People say that they don't know how to bring that A game. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we offer them opportunities to develop and perfect their A game among us in our East Texas Gospel Summer Explosion and session so that once they get the price factor, they'll know what that A game looks like. I'm doing a session Saturday, October 26th with some artists so that I can talk to them about preparing for these awards shows because they don't know that your A game includes everything. Mm -hmm. How you dress, how you yes. talk to people, how yes. to network, how to promote yourself. That it's not like going to church on Sunday and singing in your church choir, but it's your A right. game right. that you have to present. And you'll have to keep in mind that you're presenting it on a national platform. It's not like singing on Sunday morning in the church choir but it's a national platform. So we work on those kinds of things to help them get ready. Um, yeah, let, me, let me jump in real quick. Shout out to the one and only Delicia James. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Sister girl shared with us. She was here a couple of weeks ago. Two weeks ago, she was here with us and she shared that her first year at Brain's Fact that she was so nervous, she forgot the first verse of her song and sang the second verse twice. She said she was an absolute, total, complete mess. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? She was Artist of the Year for 27, for 2024. And so as Milton and Dr. Gates were saying to you, you know, practice makes perfect. And uh, all of the little nuggets that you can get along the way and all of that time that you spend with East Texas uh, gospel professionals, music professionals and that, and, and all of the little things that they have going on in between, all of that stuff, is meant to get you ready, right? When you hit the That's big right. stage, if you've done enough of this work in, in the in the in the international assemblies, and if you're working with Milton and Dr. Gates uh, along the year, there's things that they're doing that prepares you, and that stuff becomes first nature. And the more you hit that stage, it all becomes just first nature to you, and you're able to do it in your sleep. But the thing that I like about what you guys are doing. Is that you're not just taking on artists and, and doing your thing and making money off of the artists, but you are really pouring into them to be able to understand that the business is just as important. That's getting on the stage is the easy part. Understanding the business is just as crucial as singing. Anyone that takes the time to work with independent artists, my head goes off to you. <laughs> my well, head goes one, off to you. one thing that I want to say is starting this month. Dr. Gates, the classes that he's offering, and also we're going to be having some of the representatives from some of the other organizations or, you know, places that people need to know about, like the MLC and Sound Exchange and people along that line. We're going to try to get them lined up to be uh, to do presentations at least once a month to yeah. our group to try to help them to, to, you know, understand all the things they need to know about the business. That's one of the things we try to do. Plus, we give them opportunity. We, we call them gospel explosions, but we give them opportunity to perform and practice their stage presence and those kinds of things. So it's not just our words, but it's also opportunities for them to be up in front of people so they can be seen and heard in that way. So those are just some of the other things that we're going to be doing. And then on top of that, we take time to celebrate and we're going to be doing that in November. We're going to be celebrating the artists and the things that they've accomplished this past year. So we try to make it an all-encompassing type of event. That's awesome. So how would a person get have access to those trainings? Is well, that through the organization? It's through our organization. We have we, we try to record each one of those sessions. Then we have the one-on-ones where Dr. Gates works with smaller groups as well. Uh, and so we try to you know give them this information through many different ways to help them to be able to uh, you know, go back and get the information and practice what they learned. If there's someone to out what people here. think, woman, this is free. Yes. We're not charging. Milton doesn't charge. He's already rich, so he doesn't need to charge. But <laughs> we don't charge. Uh, okay. We I, I received that, charge. but it's not quite true. 
<laughs> Listen, there are people out there who do charge for their services, but we don't charge. Now, if there's somebody that's listening and watching that wanted to join, could you um, walk them through the process of joining up with you all? Well, they can go to our website, which is www.etgmp.org for the East Texas Gospel Music Professionals. Dot .org is what it is. They can go to our site and they can sign up that way. They can there we have an application form online and they can fill it out and reach out to us and tell them how to do everything they need to do or they can reach out to myself or Dr. Gates and then what we'll do then is send them the application blank. We'll answer any questions that they might have and then be able to help them to you know get everything done they need to do. They can call me, they can email me, whichever way they want to do it as far as I'm concerned. All Drew, of the links can you are put that in, in the uh, all of the links are if you're watching this after okay. we've left the air, all of the links are up. You'll be able to connect with Dr. Gates and Dr. Wallace. Both of those uh Facebook uh suggestion links are up there. Just click on those and it'll take you directly, give you access directly to their page, and also the East Texas uh gospel music. Uh, professionals, that link is up there as well. So just click on the links. We made it real simple for you. You ain't got to write it down. You ain't got to go look for anything. Just See, click on those links. That's what happens when you run it in, trying to get <laughs> right, in. Right. Just click on the links and it'll take you directly to their page and directly to the website. Let me ask both of you this. How do you decompress? You've been going, 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 going. What do you do to decompress? 